We have been dying to get our hands on a brand new Jeep Gladiator here at Headlight Revolution and we finally got one. Do It With Dan, a popular YouTuber, left us his brand new Gladiator, took our Super Duty, he's heading to Las Vegas for the SEMA show, and in the meantime we're going to do all the upgrades under the sun for this thing. Now, what we're really dying to find out is what is the brightest LED headlight bulb that you can buy today for these headlights. If you didn't get the factory LED package, we're about to find out. Now the best way to determine exactly how bright, or in some cases how dim an LED headlight bulb is, is by using a digital lux meter like this one. Now if you use a meter like this one from a distance similar to ours in similar testing conditions at home with these same bulbs, you should get a very similar result as far as percentage increase or decrease compared to the stock bulbs. Now starting with halogen, I'm going to show you guys exactly how bright, or in this case how dim, the factory headlights are, and we'll just go in a row from there in no particular order and we'll see which bulbs are the best. So we've got our Jeep Gladiator pulled into the studio right now, firing against the wall from about 25 feet, and this is what the halogen headlights look like from the factory. This is what you're used to, this is what you saw when you bought the Jeep and drove it home, and this is exactly why you're here watching this video with me today. So this came in at 560 maximum lux, not super bright, but it does have an awfully nice beam pattern. I do like these Jeep's beam patterns from the factory, and what I'd like to do today is find a better, brighter bulb option that will allow us to keep that factory beam pattern and just amplify it. Just brighten it up, keep the hot spots, give us something useful for driving down the road at night. Now this is what our halogen high beam looks like from the factory. This came in at 650 maximum lux. We do have a hot spot in the middle. It is a very tall beam pattern as you can tell. And we've got quite a bit of flood left and right as well. So once again, we're trying to maintain this beam pattern, just brighten it up. Now this one is the GTR Lighting CSP Mini. And I picked this because it's got a passively cooled design. It is the only passively cooled bulb in our collection today. Let's see how they do in the headlights. This is what the GTR Lighting CSP Mini Bulb looked like in the low beam on our Jeep JT Gladiator. This came in at 158% brighter than stock with 1,450 maximum lux. As you can see, we do have a little bit of uh, like streak effect going on on the left, but we do have a nice hot spot in the middle. Not a bad option, but let's see what it looks like on high beam. Here we have the GTR Lighting CSP Mini high beam. This came in at 92% brighter. It does imitate that factory beam pattern pretty well, and it is an upgrade, but let's keep moving down the list and see what else we can do today. Now this one is a crowd favorite. Anytime we release a headlight video, people always ask, how did the Morimoto two-stroke do? And in this video, you guys are gonna see exactly how the Morimoto two-stroke does. It's a fan-based bulb, it's got a small driver, allowing everything to fit nicely behind the dust cover, no problems there. Let's see how it does. Here we have the Morimoto two-stroke, and this one is a crowd favorite, and now I can see why. This came in at 1,770 maximum lux, 216% brighter in stock, and as you can see, this is a really nice beam pattern. It looks a lot like the factory pattern. We don't have any crazy glare above the cutoff line. Definitely not a bad option. Let's check out the high beam. The Morimoto two-stroke high beam did not disappoint us. This came in at 96% brighter. We do have a little bit of a shadow effect on the right there that we don't have with our factory beam pattern. Not sure what happened there, but the low beam definitely makes up for it. It's a solid option for your Jeep headlight. Let's keep going down the list. Now, if you've been with us a while here at Headlight Revolution, you've probably seen a couple videos where we talk about the SV4 bulb. This one continually impresses us and continues to surprise us in most applications. It is a fan-based bulb. It's got a larger driver, but it does fit these dust covers. And honestly, I can't wait to see how this stacks up compared to everything else. Now the SV4 bulb was unbelievable in these particular headlights. These came in at 351% brighter than stock at 2,530 maximum lux. We've got a very clean cutoff line, just like our factory beam pattern. We've got a beautiful hot spot in the middle. If you're looking for a really good low beam, this is probably it. I can't wait to see what the other bulbs do, but this one so far is the winner. The SV4 high beam came in at 218% brighter. As you can see, we do still have that nice hot spot in the middle. We've got a lot of flood left and right. It's still a tall pattern. It matches the factory beam pattern really well. It is just significantly brighter in stock. Here we have the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb, and this is the second iteration of the Ultra Series lineup. The first one was passively cooled. It did not have a fan. This new one is a fan, and I can't wait to see how that changes the light output from the previous model. 
The GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb came in at 178% brighter than stock. So you can see we got a nice white color out of it. We still maintain that factory cutoff line. Definitely not a bad option. Let's check out the high beam. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 high beam came in at 153% brighter than stock. And this one had a nice spread out hot spot with the high beam. This is gonna flood the road really nice at night. Definitely not a bad option if you're looking for a good high beam. This looks pretty good. At this point, you can see there's a few different bulb options to choose from. There's a few different price points, a few different warranties. It's really up to you to make the best decision possible. We do carry a lot of them at headlightrevolution.com, and we also include everything you need to get them working properly in your Jeep, such as the PWM module. Without that, you're gonna get a flickering or strobing condition. So no matter what, no matter who you shop with, make sure that's included. The last thing you wanna do is do all the work I'm about to show you, and then discover that your bulbs do a weird flickering effect. Now. If you don't need any more of my help, please click subscribe below. We have got a ton of content coming out on this particular Jeep Gladiator and I'd love for you to see it. If you'd like to see how to install your LED bulbs, follow me and I'll show you exactly how to do it. There's two different ways you can take this Jeep Wrangler front end apart. You can pull the entire grill off. There's six plastic clips and then there's three bolts per side, six total to pull the headlight out. Totally up to you, you can do that. One easier way I've found is just by removing the air box on the passenger side. On the driver's side, the bulb's totally accessible. You don't have to do anything over there. So, I'm going to show you how to pull the airbox out. Loosen this hose clamp. It's a 5 16 socket. We've got this silver 10 millimeter bolt right here. Go ahead and loosen that. Set it off to the side. At this point, the entire airbox will lift up and out of the vehicle. Set it off to the side, and the back of the headlight is now totally exposed and easy to work on. Now, this is the dust cover on the back of your headlight. You can twist this counterclockwise. comes off just like that. You can set it off to the side. And now you're gonna see a little connector on the back of your bulb. Pull on this gray piece, it's a lock. Press down on the connector tab and it'll come off the bulb just like that. Now we have our factory halogen H13 bulb. Twist that counterclockwise and remove it from the headlight. Now at this point you can install whichever LED bulb you choose to. Bear in mind that you'll wanna pick one that fits. Most of the options I showed you today will fit with the factory dust cover and they'll also fit with that PWM module that I talked about earlier. That module fits in just below the headlight right down here. It's a tight fit, but I promise it does fit. Now with the airbox removed from your Jeep, it's a little bit hard to see exactly how to get these bulbs installed, so I just wanted to show you guys on the table with a spare headlight so you don't have any questions when you do this at home. This is your dust cover. Twist it counterclockwise, it'll pop right off. And you're gonna see your factory H13 halogen bulb in here. Pull back on this gray little locking tab Push down, twist your halogen bulb, and set it off to the side. At this point, you can install whichever LED bulb you choose to, but I want to show you something real quick. You do need a PWM module on these Jeeps. It's to prevent flickering and strobing and any undesirable effects that you might have with just about any LED bulb on the market today. These Jeeps are extremely picky. You gotta have it. The GTR lighting ones work really well, and if you buy a headlight kit for your Jeep from us, we include them automatically because we know you need them. So, no matter where you're shopping, make sure you get one of these. Now, the way this installs is it just plugs into your factory wiring. Press your locking tab back down. This end goes to your bulb. In this case, I'm using the SV4 bulb for an example. And all of this does fit back into this headlight. There's plenty of room down here. As you'll see, there's a little bit of a cavity down below where the headlight bulb installs. What I like to do is install the PWM module first, then the driver for the LED bulb, and then finally the LED bulb. As you can see, I've got the PWM module tucked up here. I've got the driver tucked along the side here. And finally, we can install our LED bulb just like this. It is so important to reinstall the dust cover on these headlights before you put the whole thing together. These Jeeps see dirt roads, they see off-road. The last thing you want is a bunch of dirt, moisture, and debris in your headlight after upgrading them. Just like that.
So now that you've seen a handful of some of the best bulbs you can buy today, I do have to tell you that in just a little bit, you're gonna see a video pop up of me installing these things in this Jeep, and they are well worth checking out. If you're looking for a headlight option for a Jeep Gladiator or a Jeep Wrangler JL, the Morimoto Super 7 is an awesome upgrade as well. We've also got a lot of reverse light videos coming out. We're gonna basically run through this entire Jeep front to back and figure out the best possible bulbs for it, get them installed and show you guys exactly what we recommend. So if you've got a Jeep like this one, click the subscribe button. We got a ton of content coming out. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it.